find a little time to wake up, wake up. What's up, everybody? Hi. It's us playing some more FTL. And my dad's weird intros. Yes, I, I like that song. <laughs> I can't help it. That's a Oasis. Oasis? Yes. I've never heard What's the story, morning glory? That's why it's rock. <laughs> Gotta find some time to wake up, wake up. All right. Now we're out of the nebula. We have all our power. I can reach our... Oh, we have something going on here. Uh -oh. You recognize a ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. So he's offering to sell us slaves. Oh. Uh. We, are, we are not cool about the slaves, are we? No. No. So we are going to attack the slaver scum. That is very bad. That means taking away 42 monies. Yeah, he wants to, he wants to charge us forty two um, no. scraps for no. a mantis named Magmar. No, no. We are going to attack the slaver scum now. No, no, no. I got to fire up the weapons. Wait, where do we set it on? I got to turn on our shield. Where do we set what on? Where do we set our thing at? Because there's nowhere to set it at. Oh, that's because he's cloaking himself. He's another one. Did you he's see? another guy with the cloaker. Yes. <laughs> I really like doing that. I don't know why. Yes. So we got a we got one guy still working on our sensors. That's Russell. We're waiting for this guy to pop back up there whenever he feels like it. All right, missile on shields. Yes. Burst laser on weapons. Mm -hmm. Other burst laser on that stupid cloaking device. Because that wastes way too much time. And I really wish our oxygen levels are still a little low. They are? Yeah, it's just taking a while for them to fill back up. We still have oxygen, but we're only at 50%. Okay. But we'll be all right. He's firing at us. There went our shield. Ooh, missile coming in. Ooh, okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Didn't break the hull. Ooh, we took some engine damage. Let's uh, send people where they're supposed to be now, and we'll fix the engine damage in a second. Come on, can we fire, please? There we go. Missiles, lasers, lasers. I feel like every single time. We missed, we missed, we missed. I feel like every single time we make a video, I end up coming up with new sounds. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> oh, he broke the sensor again. Oh, um, no. All right, so we're going to have to get our engine fixed. And then we're going to get our sensor fixed, which is going to slow down our shields and our um, weapons, but we're going to have to take the shot. Are the lights, like, out on our ship? That's what happens when the sensor array goes down. We can't see into the rest of our ship. So we're basically carrying around a flashlight. More or less. We can only see where um, we have people in, in the room. What if they shoot while they're cloaked? Uh, they can't shoot while they're cloaked, but they can power up their weapons while they're cloaked. That way, as soon as they come out of cloak, they can fire. Okay. But that's okay. We've got all three of our weapons about ready to, all charged up and ready to go. There you go. See there, he just shot a burst laser, but our burst laser's coming through. We missed with another missile. And our shield or, or radar thing is still... Uh, taking damage for some reason. Our I don't know why. Thing. The thing that powers up our lights. There we go. It's it's good to go again. And the engine's good to go again. Everyone back to their stations. Wait, we could see on their thing for a minute. Yeah, now we can. But when the sensor arrays down, we can't. No, on their thing. Oh, we could see them inside their ship? Yeah. That's because I had someone on the sensor, and it powers it up if you have somebody on it. But it's not the most important thing on the ship. You could see where all the people were. Yeah, it's it's a handy little deal. If I upgraded our sensor, we could do that too. But like I said, it's not the most important thing. It's cool though. It is cool. I don't know if I'm the only one that caught that, but I did catch it. Oh no, I I know all about it. I know you know all about it. You're the one who plays this game nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we got going on here? Their missiles are down. Yes. 
Their shield is damaged. We still need that scene ID cloaking device. Okay, yes, the cloaking device is still active. It has got to go. First, we have to take out their shields. Oh my gosh. And we've taken quite a bit of damage in this fight, actually. We're wasting we are... our time. Yeah, it's a, it's a time-consuming little deal when there ain't nothing we can do but sit here and wait for his cloaking device to drain again. So yeah, these last few, these I feel like a lot of these have been boring because it's basically us trying to fight something and we have no content. And by that, I mean we have like, um, um, just... Uh, we have nothing to show the people because everything keeps, uh... Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. Okay, so he's getting ready to um, charge his FTL. Oh, it's delayed. He's There's something wrong. He can't take off. Yay! I don't know if that's mean, but yay! Well, when he's charging his FTL, it means he's trying to uh, take off. But we slowed him down, so he can't take off as fast. Okay, we surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they die anyway. So we're going to take his... We're going to take Jack, the slave. And he's going to become part of our crew. Okay. So we're going to... He's free now. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put Jack in the engine room because we could use a little more power in the engine room. Mm -hmm. And we could use somebody in there fixing it. And Jack is a actual... He's an alien. He's not human. What is he? Let's take a peek real quick. He is a Zoltan. A Zoltans are aliens of the NG... Or allies of the NG. Uh, they're in, their energy can power uh, ship systems. So they're actually like kind of like a droid. They're kind of robots. Allies of the NG. Yep. Allies of the NG. NG. Okay, we're going to save him in the engine room. And we're going to go ahead and jump out of here. Oh, we have a distress call. Shall we fly up to the distress call? Yes. Once we get there, we can come back down again. All right, cool. Let's see what we got. We need a store. We need to repair or haul because we're kind of, we're halfway. Mm -hmm. Ooh, pretty purple stuff. Yep, another pretty purple landscape there, or spacescape, I guess you would call it. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirates marking, uh, with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. So we're at this again. Another pirate is stuck between two rocks. We can either destroy the pirate, or we can blow up the rocks and let him loose. Last time we let him loose, he just flew away, and we took damage. I don't want to destroy the rocks. I don't want to get them. I don't. I don't want to put them back on a ship. So we just want to blow them up. You want to try blowing them up this time? Okay. We're just going to blow them up. Okay. You decide the pirate is not worth saving, and fire a few volleys into their hull, causing the ship to depressurize and break apart. You move in for the loot. We got three fuels, a drone part, and 33 more scraps. We are doing real good money-wise. So, let's, um... Ooh, there's a store. Can we get back down? Yeah, we should go to the store and repair. So we're headed to the store. Going to the store, to the store. When I got home, I put some ice on my shoulder because I could barely even lift it just like this. Right. So I put some ice on my shoulder. That really didn't do anything. Okay, we uh, ship engineer set up a small shop. We are gonna go full repair. Ooh, oh, we got crew members. I don't want any of those bombs because they all take missiles. And I don't need drones and ship repairs, but we do have this drone, the boarding drone that we can sell. Ooh. So there's an extra thirty-five parts. We now have 153 minutes. And we don't want drone stuff. Mm -hmm. Do we want another crew member? Um, or we, we could. actually Yeah, we have enough money to buy, get a new crew member plus repair the ship. We could get Oni. Right. You want to get... Well, oh, he's a really good pilot. <gasps> uh, he's got nothing special about him. He's a good shield guy. Hmm. So, we either get Oni or we get Koozie. I want Oni. All right, Oni it is. So now, I want to check something out. Petey is almost a good pilot. Oni really is a good pilot. 
So I'm sorry, Petey, but you're going to have to go somewhere else. Could he go to the sensor thing? Yeah, we're going to put him on the sensor thing. Good idea. Yay! And then that means Oni is going to become our new uh, pilot. Up. Second is up. I mean, times are up. Right, times. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to fix all. Okay. All right. Well, that was our episode. Join us again for another thrilling and epic journey of the Pouncing Pup. We hope you guys like this video. And we will see you guys soon. Bye!